Okay, this is a quick update on the Universal uh, Hub system. Um, I've got some STL files now, and I've put this little, um, this is the top and bottom uh, bracket. This isn't the final design, this is um, a simplified, uh, easy to easy to make. Um, I'm getting a few of these printed off uh, from a company called um, 3D Print UK. Um, and the, oh, the best way to make them, the parts cheaper are to squeeze them together. So I've, I'll put this together. What I'll do is I'll um, link to, the, to this STL file uh, in the description below if you want to um, have a go at printing it if for, for any of you, you out there that have 3D printers. I've got 12 pairs of these coming. So that should give me enough to build something really basic and simple to test them out. Um, and they cost me um, about 55 quid. So it seems a lot for a, a couple of dozen um, plastic, tiny plastic things. You don't get an idea of scale on here, uh, but they should be fairly small. Um, but as prototyping costs, that's pretty cheap, I thought. So uh, at least it gives me something... Uh, physical to, to work with. Uh, I'd like to say thanks to everybody who commented and uh, give their opinion on the last video. Um, one of which was why do you need to be, um, why do the, you need to have a cone? Um, and the short answer is you don't, it doesn't have to be a cone. Uh, this is the old design. Uh, I've redesigned it a couple of times. Um, but the latest design is this one here. There are some advantages to this one, uh, but I won't get into that now. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you some things that we can build using this new hub design. 